All right, you know how you have memories of a movie being good from your past, and then you watch it, it doesn't quite hold up. You're like, oh, that's a bummer. I should have left that in nostalgia. I watched The Fly recently. I have fond memories of The Fly being awesome. Turns out The Fly is still awesome. So I want to talk about The Fly, so let's talk about it. The Fly. So The Fly is directed by David Cronenberg. It stars Jeff Goldblum as scientist Seth Brundle. Seth Brundle's working on something. It's something spectacular. What is it? Well, he invites a journalist played by Gina Davis over to his loft to check it out. He's working on teleportation. Ain't that great. It teleports matter from one pod to another pod and it's gonna change the world. And he has a few kinks to work out, but he works them out. Then he does it on himself, which probably is not smart. And a house fly gets in the pod with him. The computer's like, I don't know how to write. I'll just genetically fuse them together. Now, now we have a monster movie, kind of. It's the drama, really. And that's one of the things I love about The Fly. It's not just a monster movie for the sake of monster movie. All right, so The Fly and The Thing are both in the recesses of the 80s when they made horror movies perfectly. At least those two are, honestly, they're perfect. They don't need to be remade ever. It's like, never remake The Thing or The Thing that came out a few years ago was a prequel, so. There's leniency there. And for what it was, I enjoyed that. But they will never make The Fly as good as the 1986 Cronenberg Fly. Because it's just so fascinating as a character movie, really. I mean, Jeff Goldblum is charmingly dorky, as he usually and always is. And he really is, he just had good intentions with this thing that went horribly wrong. And at first, he's all like super strong, he has stamina, he's like, yeah, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. And you just know, man, you're like, I, it's called The Fly. I know the premise of The Fly. This axe is gonna drop hard. And it does, and there's a price to pay for that shit, man, because the next time you see him, it's been some time, and he's all like crippled up, and he's gross looking, he's walking with crutches, I mean, he's a shell of the man he was, but he's, it's the decline that I love. Not only is Brundlefly's makeup fantastic in this movie, when his ear starts falling off and his teeth come out, you just buy it, it's just, it would be CGI now but it wasn't back then. It's just something a little more gross about an actual prop ear falling off of someone's head or their teeth coming out. The Fly is a great transformation movie. I love it when someone sequentially, just every scene you see him in, he's a little more changed, he's a little more degraded, he's a little more fly. And really, it's that the hero and the villain, it's the same person. Brundle's this likable, nice dude, and in the end, he is still a victim. Because unlike Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, where Dr. Jekyll was a good guy and Mr. Hyde was really the same physical person, but he was completely different personality, they're compartmentalized. You feel like Dr. Jekyll isn't as accountable for Mr. Hyde's actions as Seth Brundle is for his own. But you know it's him, the more he becomes more insect, the less Seth Brundle he is. So in that he is a victim, but the line is so blurred, you just don't know where one ends and the other begins. It's so subtle, it's fantastic. It's like quintessential great monster movie at that point. Yeah, I love my horror movies and slasher films for what they are, I really do. But there's something about The Fly. It's a drama, it's a character drama, it's a sci-fi, movie, it's a horror movie, it's a monster movie. It blends all of these elements perfectly in a way I really can't think that I've seen since The Fly. If you know one that's done it well too, hey, comment below, man. Love to hear it. Even Jeff Goldblum's acting is perfect for a fly. He's just, he's neurotic like a scene where he's like, he's trying to turn me into a fly? 185 pound fly? <laughs> just like, he has these weird tics and mannerisms where you're like, I feel like you're becoming a skeezy little twerky ass fly person. Like if there was a fly human size, that should and would be terrifying because insects are not the kindest things ever. It just so happens that we are so much bigger than them that if we were on their scale and they were a little above us in the food chain, we should fear, we should be afraid. We should be very afraid. So in knowing that Seth Brundle is becoming a human-sized fly, you're just like, more and more he's becoming a dick, and more and more it's... It really is one of the few movies that actually invoked fear from me. Guys, in the end, The Fly is sci-fi horror perfection. It really is. In a movie about, hey, he's our good guy, he's our hero, who's slowly turning into something horrific, physically and mentally, it's just, it's done the best here that I've ever seen. You guys, seriously, for Halloween, if you're having a movie fest with your friends, watch The Fly. I know it's not conventional, it's not like Friday the 13th, or Scream, or Nightmare on Elm Street, Trick or Treat, what people usually watch on Halloween, but it really is a cool horror transformation monster movie with depth that you really don't see these days. I will say The Fly is awesome-tacular. <laughs>